no Brasil, o Kutipuna. E tai atua hao ki Aotearoa e te tau 2018. E noho ana ao ki Fangaroa. Ko tene tako mihi tingata whenua o te rohenei. Ka mihi hoki o ki ngatoho o te rohenei. Ka reira, tena koto, katoa. My name is Ron Sosa and I'm science lead of the Moana project. Uh, it's pretty hard coming after Chanel here, uh, but I, I'll try to get you interested in some uh, more hard science. Uh, so the MONA project, it's a five years funded research program uh, funded by MB through the Endeavor Research Funded. Uh, it involves 54 researchers from 14 different national and international institutions, uh, a part in addition to our users and other research partners that are external to the project itself. It has the direct interaction with final users, local communities, and traditional knowledge at its heart. So New Zealand has the ninth largest economic exclusive zone and is the 52nd largest economy in the globe. Therefore, it's key to efficiently use the resources to support the development of a blue economy that's both sustainable and resilient to climate change. The MONA project then is to provide state-of-the-art science to revolutionize ocean observing and modeling, to provide the support to the blue economy by providing accurate ocean observations, models, and data products. We are building a robust view of the past ocean behavior in terms of helping understand the drivers of variability that impact the ocean activities, such as fishing and aquaculture. As an example, by understanding the departure of the ocean temperature from the climatological mean, and that's what I'm showing here in this animation, we can identify extreme events, such as marine heat waves, and the one going on in the Bay of Plenty right now, and the effect on Kaimoana species or species of particular economical and cultural uh, relevance. So we can forecast what the future holds and help to foster a better management of the resources. But the only way we can do that in an efficient way is by partnershiping with the local communities that have been using those same resources for generations and to better you know, observe the ocean. So that's exactly what we're trying to do. We are developing a two-way cross-cultural ocean knowledge platform to include Mataranga Maori into the research process and at the same time translate the science outcomes into products that are tailored to the community needs. By deploying our ocean observing uh, sensor that observes temperature and salinity and as New Zealand developed, we are helping to build a nationwide ocean observing capability. We then integrate, integrate those two sources information into numerical models or ocean models to help us understand the past and better understand the future, being in the near real time or the next seven days or for climate change scenarios. Increase then our capacity to plan and respond to emergencies and to the changes in the ocean environment. We are then applying this very models in Maturanga Maori traditional knowledge together with genetics and microchemistry analysis to understand the connectivity of Kaimoana species around the country. Then we can identify regions important to protect and also provide sustainability to the aquaculture and fishing industries. So the uses and the outcomes of the project are many, as are the opportunities for spin-off research projects. So a lot of those already on the way. The only way that such, such ambitious goals are possible is by the true commitment of several researchers and the support from their institutions and the Minister of uh, Business, Innovation and Employment. Uh, if you want to understand more and know more about the project and to interact with us, please visit our website at moanaproject.org. Thank you. <laughs>